Welcome to week 14 of the Thrift My Way to the USA video series. Over the past 13 weeks, we've been hunting through local thrift stores to try and find items that we can flip for a profit on eBay. Reason why is because in just a couple of weeks time, I'm flying over to the USA for the ultimate thrift trip adventure. We're just $610 away from hitting our trip budget of $8,000. So let's get in there and see if we can achieve it today. A uh, place that I love to start my sourcing is the DVD section, guys, and I really wanted to take you through what I do with high-priced DVDs. $4 a piece for these. We've got Oz Season 6. It sells for $18. Basically, what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm looking for those latter seasons. I talk about it a little bit on this channel, but it really does work, especially when you're in a scenario where things are a little bit expensive. Mad Men, I've got Season 6 here. It goes for $20, $15. There's enough wiggle room to go ahead with the purchase. White Collar at 2 bucks. It converts into to 15 so I've gone ahead and picked up the six season there grim I've got this one in for the video because six seasons goes for $85 so it's just a bolo to be looking out for not on this occasion for me with just the one DVD but we did find three that are going to be worth around about 40 bucks look guys I was actually leaving the store and I came across this little rack of clothing and I found a 2003 Brisbane Lions vintage scarf well almost vintage and I always try to pick this stuff up this one actually goes for about $40 I found one that kind of matched it on eBay I found this as well. We had a Columbia women's jacket. This was a size large. Really like the look of it. It was in pretty decent condition. I might have to give it a slight clean, uh, but these can go for upwards of $50. So I picked it up for the $15. Uh, I also had this as well, Carhartt for 100 bucks. Had to put it in the video, more for the hilarious price point. Dries a bone as well. That was a really good find. That one should turn into about $50, maybe even, no, oh, maybe 45. But the a bone brand is definitely something for you guys to be looking out for. If you haven't heard of it, there's the tag right there. Make sure you are adding it to your bolo list because 10 bucks that was an absolutely great buy uh, and then i also went into the electronic section which I, I do really enjoy doing and this panasonic rx dt37 it sells for about 120 on ebay but they were asking 60 dollars in store for me there's just not enough meat in the sandwich for that one there so i did leave it back on the shelf but electronics they can sometimes pay off so there you go, guys. A bit of a sourcing secret when it comes to selling your DVDs. And I did want to reiterate the point by showing you a couple of past sales from just yesterday. The first one was Midsummer Murders Season 19. We sold that one for $18. And we also had Game of Thrones as well, Season 6. That one sold for $15. So you're getting a good sell-through rate and you're getting a slightly higher price point by using that sourcing secret. So hopefully that proves the point that it definitely does work. Now my golden rule when it comes to board games is brand new and sealed, but on this occasion I found this one, Cards for Bogans, and it was literally just cards, so there was no way of getting that one wrong and the comps were pretty good on eBay. And Boganology, I think this is going to sell well. We've got this one, new comps between 30 to 35, so I'm going to shoot for about 30 bucks in pre-owned condition. I've got it for 4 I think it should do well. Now some shoes, it's nice to see some shoes because I haven't had any for quite some time. So we've got the Nike Metcon 3s. These are the fly nets as well. They go upwards of $100. So happy to pick them up for the 20 bucks. I've got the Brooks Glycerin 19 women's running shoes here. These are in excellent condition as you can see, but $30. Come on, man. We can't be doing that. I'll put that one back onto the shelf pretty quickly. The Asics Gel Keanu 23, a real staple for me, guys. This one goes on for about 75 bucks. Happy to pay the $15 for that one there. And then another brand that I like to find as well, we've got the New Balance 247. These are the lights. And uh, look, I get about $40 to $45 for those. So to pick them up for $10, I thought that was a pretty good grab given that they were in good condition. Uh, the Asics shoes kept coming, guys. We've got the Asics Gel Nimbus 20 here. So, uh, look, they're in good condition as well well so i'm thinking about 60 bucks for those they may even be a giveaway if you stick around for the end of the video a seven dollar purchase price how can you go wrong with condition like that santa cruz i've got these as well guys 25 dollars on this one here i should be able to get and uh the adidas nmd r1s for 20 dollars. i actually ended up leaving these guys uh, maybe i should have grabbed them i'm kind of regretting it i think ringers west end as well this one's a good one i reckon i could sell these for about 40 dollars, and it wasn't just the one pair that i found well there was some hem issues but then i realized they were okay um, and then this one as well the second pair so a couple of $40 wins and I'm only paying 16 for the pair so not too bad in the jeans 
I've really come to realize over the last few weeks, guys, that the shoes are really the heartbeat of my business. For me to get an average sale price of $40, I need to be ticking over a number of $50 shoe price sales. So the DVDs are gonna be in abundance. I'm always gonna find them. I'm always gonna be able to list them up in volume, but the shoes, they're not necessarily the easiest things to find because condition is so important and the price is not always guaranteed. So um, today, to be able to source all those shoes, it is very, very important and I'm very happy to have found it. But when you're looking at your own business, what is the heartbeat? of your business, I'd love to know in the comments below. I suppose everyone has a kryptonite in the thrift and for me, it is my problem with the plush. I just can't help myself. I think there's value in every single one of these, but they have such a long sell-through rate. I don't know why I bother. This one here was pretty cool, a Minnie Mouse for uh, 2011 uh, Disney as well. So that was a good find. The Scooby-Doo here as well. I didn't end up buying these guys. I put them all back on the shelf, but these I did buy. I got a Mini Blastoise. That one can turn into maybe $25 to $30 in excellent condition. And another Pokemon, a Mini Charmander. I thought that was pretty good too. So hopefully 20 bucks there maybe 40 dollars worth of plush toys but geez i could have bought them all got the tailor-made hat here as well guys this one here should turn into about 25 dollars it's a really good golfing brand i do like my golfing merchandise uh, so that hat for five dollars should be a no-brainer this was an instagram viewer poll question i've got four seasons of footballers wives uh, look, they're $2 a piece. So for 8 bucks, is there enough value in footballers' wives? What would you do if you saw it in the thrift? Gilmore Girls, I've gone ahead and picked Season 7 up, running the same play that I spoke about earlier in the day. And then I kept scanning through the racks of these DVDs, and I actually found a fifth season of Footballers' Wives. So does that change your opinion on the buy? So, Footballers Wives, seasons one to five. Look, comps on eBay were about 35 bucks for this, and it was a $10 purchase price. So that's why I put it up to you guys. We're only talking a small amount of money. Fortunately, the sell-through rate was there. There was a few sales. So I've gone ahead and I've made the purchase. You guys agreed, 61.39 was the difference in percentage. Um, DVDs, bundles, I just can't stop buying them. Well, this was a really good start to Op Shop Run at number four. The brand is Macbeth, and that is Tom DeLonge's brand. Uh, Blink-182, lead singer. Absolutely love the band, love the shoes as well. We should be able to get about 60 bucks for these. listen to Tom DeLong all day long. I've got these as well. We've got the Nimbus uh, 20s again for the second time today. They were in pretty ratty condition, so I left them on the shelf. And then we have the uh, Gel Keanu 19s here again. The condition, guys. It's super important, so I've put them back on the shelf. These I picked up, though. A really good purchase price. The Fuse X Asics running shoes. Eight bucks. Are you kidding me? I'll absolutely take that. For $7 as well, we've found some more Ringers Western guys. Like I said, I really like this brand, so I'm happy to pick it up. This one is a big size as well, a 3XL, so it should go on to sell in a pretty quick space of time, that one there. Um, we had a look at some DVDs, and uh, look, I've got a few good ones here. Carl Barron, all of my DVDs in one box. Thanks very much. I'm going to go ahead and pick that one up for $10. should convert myself into about 50 bucks for that one, so that was a good find. Tried to run the same play that we've been doing all day long on this one here, the love final season of Breaking Bad, but unfortunately, there was just no value in it. Brand new DVDs are another game that I like to play. This one was only $2. That one turns into about 20 And then I've got this Magret. Uh, I've never even heard of this, but Series 1 and 2, brand new and sealed. You're getting yourself about 25 bucks on that one there. This one was interesting, though. The Lone Ranger for $10. It's brand new. There's 24 discs. These sorts of things go for about $89, but there were no comps on eBay. So I'm going to run a little bit of a risk. We'll see how we go. So there you go, guys. 28 listings for my eBay business out of today's haul. It works out to a spend of $187, and that's just $7 per listing, which I think is fantastic. Uh, the total estimated resale value of everything today works out to $880. And if I work off 45% of the total estimated resale value, that's $400 that we can put towards the kitty uh, for this USA trip that's just a couple of weeks away. So super exciting stuff there. I've got the announcement of the prize draw from last week for my 30% club members out there. Uh, we've got the Lonesome Dove. Uh, this DVD, I've actually unfortunately got ahead and listed it and I've sold it, which was a little bit silly considering I was using it as a prize giveaway. Um, the winner of the prize is Jonathan Whitehouse. Now, Jonathan, congratulations. Thank you very much for your support. 
I'm gonna give you 30 bucks in cash, and hopefully that's okay, because I, I do wanna ship this off to the person that bought it, uh, and I wanna obviously reward you for being the winner. So how about 30 bucks? Shoot me a message on Instagram, and I'll transfer that cash across to you. I've got a prize draw for next week as well, and I promise I won't miss this one up. I promise you guys can actually have it. Um, we've got the Asics Gel Nimbus 20s here, really cool pair of women's running shoes, US size eight, in excellent condition. I think you'll get about 50 bucks for this one right here. Use the code word Asics, like the video, subscribe to the channel, guys. Simple, simple stuff. Um, thank you very much for your support. Appreciate you being here. Um, we're going to go ahead and list up all of these videos into a playlist, Thrift My Way to the USA. Go and check that one out on my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Hit the like button on this video, and I'll leave you with last week's video right here. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you soon.